Hey guys, it's Kylie and today I have a really fun doable DIY for you. I created this kind of boho shabby chic chalkboard from a Goodwill picture frame using Casa products. This video is not sponsored by Casa, but they did send me the supplies for free, but I would not have made this video if I didn't really love the products. So let's go ahead and get started. As for supplies, I always need a huge venti black coffee before I attempt any DIY. And this is the picture frame that I got from Goodwill. It's pretty large. I didn't measure it, but it's bigger than the frame of my camera. And I liked the brown picture frame. I knew that it had some potential, even if the little bears inside of it were not quite my jam. But I just went ahead and started ripping up the back of it. I'm sure there's like a better way to do this, but um, this picture frame cost me $2 altogether, so I wasn't really too conscious of what was happening to it because I know a little E6000 super glue is going to fix any mistakes on my $2 Goodwill frame. So I'm just ripping up. I'm going to shut up while you watch me rip. The goal here is just to get the glass out of the frame because the glass is what we are going to use for our chalkboard. So now that I have the glass in there, basically I'm just going to put that to the side. I'm going to remove all those staples because in the end, I didn't show this, but I actually just used some clear packaging tape to secure the glass frame back in because I didn't want to use super glue. I was kind of scared for that commitment. So. The um, clear packaging tape actually worked really well to secure the glass. We're not gonna be able to see that at the end, so don't worry about that. But for right now, I'm just putting the glass frame or the glass to the side, and now I'm gonna start painting my picture frame. And because I wanted this to have sort of like a boho, I don't even know why I'm calling it boho chic. I don't know if it's just more like farmhouse style, but I used some chalk paint for the very first time. And this is just the Waverly brand chalk paint that you can get from Walmart. I think this was like $1.50. I'm very good at opening things as you can see, but I just read the instructions on the back of the bottle for using chalk paint and it was really easy. I got kind of an older paintbrush that wasn't super, um, wasn't in super great shape and all I needed was one coat of this chalk paint done really roughly just as you can see there and it gave me exactly the effect that I wanted and I think part of that was that I started with the brown picture frame oh my gosh can you hear my cat I started with the brown picture frame and it maybe if you start with a different color maybe you'd like to paint it brown first or you are you know, just be fine with whatever color is going to be peeking out. You can always paint the frame brown, paint the frame gray or black or whatever color you kind of want to be peeking out from beneath that chalk paint. So like I said, I just did one layer, one really rough layer, and it ended up looking great. And I just set that aside to dry while I continue on with the next step. So the next step is going to be applying this Casa chalkboard contact paper to the glass that came out of the frame. So I'm really intrigued by this idea because I think it's really neat that Casa sells a roll of chalkboard contact paper, which means you could basically apply contact paper to any, almost any flat surface and you can get an instant chalkboard. So on the back of the box, it kind of tells what you need to do. You need to clean it. You can measure and cut, peel and align, stick, and then you start using it like a chalkboard and it's pretty cool. Um, inside the roll also comes with, um, I think it's five pieces of chalk. Yes, in different colors. And then it comes with that cleaning cloth as well. And I just thought this was such a cool product. It's six and a half feet by 17.8 inches, so you can cover a really large surface. And I think that's really neat as well. You could get even a larger picture frame than the one that I got, and you could still cover it with contact paper. So I'm all about this product. I have saved every scrap just in case there's a small surface that I wanna cover with chalkboard paper in the future so that I can use my awesome Casa chalk markers on it. So you're gonna see that in just a second. So this is where things get interesting um, as far as DIY goes for a non straight line person and like 
I really am scared of precision. So what happened? <laughs> I'm making it very dramatic, but it actually wasn't that bad. I just laid the glass frame over top of the grid side of the chalkboard paper, which was um, a good decision on my part. And then I just trimmed it down to size. So you can see there, the grid lines make that very easy to get the straight line. So I think that's awesome and I would have been lost without it so I'm extra thankful they included that and then afterward I just kind of flipped the whole thing over and that's when you start to peel um, the paper off and stick it to the surface like any contact paper so I don't have a lot of experience with contact paper this was kind of my first time trying anything like this by myself without someone to help me I know, once again, I'm sounding very dramatic. And also, I apologize. My camera was freaking out about all of the black in the frame, so I'm sorry. But um, I, you start with one corner. It's helpful to have a credit card or an old gift card or something you can use to press down the paper. And then from underneath, you peel away the grid paper from the contact paper, and then you kind of stick as you go. And you have to get really on top of it to make sure everything's precise and looking good. So that's why my head's kind of in the way there. But I definitely found my groove as I continued with this project. At first, you'll, you'll see at the end, um, kind of the left-hand side of the picture frame, there's a lot of bubbles that I tried to press out with the card as much as I could, but I was unsuccessful. And then as I continued on, I really found my groove and really figured out the best process for doing this. So there are some bumps and bubbles on one side and then the other side looks great. But as you'll also see at the end, there's really not, it's really not a problem because you honestly couldn't even tell. Um, and I have this hanging in my office now and I honestly never once have noticed a single bubble or bump in it. So it really worked out well. And then um, after I went ahead and got the whole thing stuck, I just went around the edges, trimmed them down even more, and then pressed out those bubbles with the gift card. And it really turned out great. And I'll show you here in just a second how one side's kind of a little bit icky, and then the other side is like much better. And now for the fun part, I get to open up the markers. And this was a total first impressions. I'd never used these markers before, and this was my first time opening them up, so I've never ever had any experience with them. And they did not disappoint, spoiler alert. But just to tell you a little bit about these markers, you can decorate chalkboards, mirrors, plastic, ceramics, windows, and more with these. They have a chisel point and a bullet point, which is a reversible tip. So you just take out that tip, turn it around, and it'll become the chisel point. So I think that's pretty cool. I went ahead and tested out all these markers for you, and the colors are really vibrant and opaque. I was really impressed. You do have to wait for them to dry just a little bit, but they wipe off with washcloth and water, which is amazing because I've used some chalk markers before that literally were permanent. They might as well have been permanent because they were so impossible to get off. So this was really a nice surprise for me, especially if you're somebody like me who, as you can see, just went for it. There was no sketch. I'm just going for it. And that means that I can make mistakes and then can just use that washcloth to wipe everything away and start over again, which is what I actually had to do. So you'll see that in just a minute. I was really happy to find that these are very easy to use. You barely have to press on the tip to get the marker flowing. So you can see off to the right hand top corner, I was using that kind of as an area where when the pen would start to go just a little bit dry, you just push down on that tip. It's like any marker really. Um, and then I, I found these to be really opaque, very easy to remove um, in small areas to erase mistakes and then to start over again. And then for this particular style, since this isn't a brush pen, I'm gonna have to do faux calligraphy if I want the brush lettered look. So that's definitely what I did here, but they were so easy to use. I barely had to go over them more than once. And I was just all around really impressed and I can definitely see myself using these on other surfaces, especially like a mirror or glass. I think they'd be really beautiful. So I'm very excited about this.
And really, that's about all there is to this DIY. Besides a little bit of trouble applying the contact paper, I found this to be an extremely easy project with a huge payoff. This is beautiful, and I absolutely love it. I have it sitting on top of my bookshelf right now. And I'm gonna leave this quote up for a little while, and I know that changing the quote is gonna be as simple as just a washcloth with some water. So I'm super excited. Um, all of the products and details about this are linked in the description box below. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you next week. Bye.